Good morning and welcome to WFMS. We're getting the news out to you, Franklin Middle School students and staff. Who has it better than Franklin Middle School? Nobody. That's right. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, October 13th, and I am recording our announcements live from my house. And uh, we're hoping we're going to have a great week. It's a short week. And uh, today is Tuesday, October 13th. A day students. You're gonna be meeting synchronously. You're gonna to go to your teacher's Canvas pages and get on their Zooms. And B Day students, you are gonna be getting on uh, your teacher's Canvas pages. And uh, you're gonna be looking for those assignments. And A Day and B Day students, we're doing that every day. All right. Take a look here. We've got our sixth grade daily schedule. This should look really, really familiar. Students in sixth grade, we want you to go to each of your classes at these prescribed times. Seventh grade students, this should look really familiar. We want you to go to your classes at these prescribed times. And eighth grade students, we want you to go to these classes at, the, at your prescribed time. All right, take a look here. We wanna go back though. I skipped a slide. Today's welcoming ritual, and look at this. This is a throwback. This is a picture of Andre Iguodala, Franklin Middle School's very own, Lanphier High School's very own, Springfield, Illinois' very own. And uh, that is when he was at Franklin Middle School. I think that's a seventh grade photo, if I'm not mistaken. And today's welcoming ritual is, how much money would it take for you to give up your cell phone for one week? Ooh, is it even possible? I know adults, we, we are really dependent on those but how much money would it take? Think about that one for you to give up your cell phone for one week. That's an interesting question. All right. Hey, we wanted to remind students where to find their email accounts. And uh, we want you to look on your Chromebook and at the very bottom of your screen, you will see a dock and you'll see a white envelope with a red M. The red M stands for mail. And you're gonna click on it and your school email will open. This email will also include all the notifications from Canvas. I know on Friday I sent students an email making sure they knew there was nine days left. Many of you replied and responded. So making sure that we're getting in the habit of checking that email every single day, that's excellent. All right, we've got a shout out button that we've put on our website. You're gonna log into Google and click on this blurb on the FMS webpage and you can give a shout out. Now you do have to input your school issued username and password on that form. So if you want to give your teachers a shout out, teachers, if you want to give a shout out, and we've got some of those that have come in here, we want to give a shout out to Ms. Chiquino from Natalie. She's been very wondrous teacher that I've had for math. Math is the best. and She's the best math teacher I've had for seventh grade. That's excellent here. Shout out to Mrs. Nesbitt. Ms. Nesbitt, you are my favorite teacher, says Caden P. Oh, we've got a shout out to Mrs. West. She's super nice and is funny, and that her class gets you ready for the day and smiling. That's coming from Bella. I want to give a shout out to Mrs. Durr. When I was in health class last year, you always made my day better, and you always made me have a smile on my face. I had so much fun last year in your class, and I miss it. I hope you're doing amazing during this whole crazy pandemic. That's from Natalie. We've got a shout out to Mrs. Womble. I like how you're so nice and help us if we need any help. You're awesome, says Maria. We've got another shout out to Mrs. Durr. I want to give Mrs. Durr a shout out because during our Zoom, whatever we are learning about, she'll remember a fun story to help us remember. She's such a fun teacher. She also understands if something is not working on Canvas, she'll just tell us to skip help for the day. She is so understanding and makes Zoom class time enjoyable. Have a great day, Mrs. Durr. That's coming from Justine H. Oh, here's a shout out to Mrs. Maida. I always enjoy this class is really fun learning in her Zooms because I always feel like I want to be there. Overall, I think it's really just a fun class. That's coming from Simon. Mr. Nofel getting a shout out here. Such an amazing teacher and help us in what we need to do for math. Also, you give a quick answer to emails. Thank you for all you do. That's coming from John B. Mr. Keyes getting a shout out here. Mr. Keyes is really amazing at everything he does. He helps me and other classmates with anything that has to do with music or any kind of instrument. And that's coming from Sullivan. We've got a shout out to Mrs. Chauvin. She sends some kids a card that says, great work. And I hanged it on a wall and when I see it, I know I did a good job. And she did not have to send a card, but she did. Yeah, I noticed those uh, good, 
good deed cards are out in the mail. So that's great to hear from Tala, Thalia. Uh, I got another shout out to Mrs. Nesbitt. Just wanna thank her for being so sweet and kind. She is the best. It's coming from Sabrina. And lastly, shout out to Mrs. Osmondson. She helps me with things I have a hard time doing and makes it easy for me to do. And she is a great teacher. That's coming from Bryce M. Those shout outs are great. Students, if you wanna do a shout out, you can do that. Get on the website, find the blurb, and uh, shout out. I wanna give a shout out to all Franklin Middle School teachers. Uh, everybody's doing a great job and uh, couldn't be any prouder of the time, energy, effort, and how committed you are to our students and uh, our school in general. So great job. All right, hey, we're gonna be map testing, starting on the 19th, everyone. And we'll be putting up and talking about these slides here over the next week. So we're gonna take the map reading part on the 19th and the math on the 22nd. The questions are not the same for each student. We wanna remind students they can't skip those questions and you can't go back to a previous question. So students, you'll be taking your map test asynchronously you will not be meeting with any other of your classes at this time on the map testing date. If you work too fast and don't read the question, it will actually take you a little bit longer and we'll know that you're just guessing. So please don't whiz through and go as fast as you can, take your time. And for math, we wanna give a reminder that if you are on a question, it'll allow you to have a calculator if you're allowed to have a calculator. If it does not show a calculator, you have to use your mental math and work on that, you can use scratch paper to solve by hand. So you may not use a calculator unless you see that tool on the screen. And lastly, you cannot get all the questions correct on MAP, and that's okay. This is how MAP determines where you're at or your performance level. So some questions may seem easy and other questions may seem really hard. That's okay, we want you to do your very best. And the test will let you know when you are finished. So there isn't an exact number of questions. So that the 19th is reading, and on the 26th is math in MAP. All right, hey, Mrs. Zinnen wants to give a shout out to her fifth hour B-Day kids. They're all doing a great job. The entire class has turned on all their work and they're having a blast riding. It's fantastic to hear. And Miss Becker's throwing a shout out to her class, sending a shout out to her sixth hour B class for perfect attendance on a Friday before a three day weekend. We love hearing that and seeing that, so good job. Shout outs are just flowing this morning. All right, we wanna remind our cross country students that on, our probably cross country athletes, that on October 20th, we want them to bring their entire uniform, including shoes and warm up. They're going to be taking their photos. We've got some intramural golf results on Thursday, last Thursday, October 8th, a group of golfers hit Passfield Golf Course. Beautiful day, lots and lots of fun. Uh, players did a great job with putting. Some had some long drives. Mayher, Declan, Elijah, and Garrett were witness. I came out, I brought my two daughters, and uh, we had a good time watching the students. Uh, a lot of talent there, and they're having a lot of fun. So uh, Mrs. Zinnen wants to tell you, I want to tell you, come out next Thursday, hoping the weather holds out and stays beautiful for intramural golf. All right here, get into our routine golf, pardon me, scholastic goal question of the day. What is the publishing term for a yearly publication that features agricultural and weather information? Ooh, I think you know the answer to that. It's coming out pretty quick here. We've got our word of the day, and that word of the day is destination. Should sound familiar. The place designated as the end as of a race or journey. Definition, airport gets stacked up with planes that can't take off for their destination. Did you have any great destinations this weekend? Are you looking forward to your destination over a holiday? In the summer, last summer, did you have any exotic destination places? What's your dream destination? So place at the end. All right. All right, here's our math brain teaser of the day. What do we have here? Let's see. What is the smallest multiple hmm, of six greater than 115? Let's see here. What is the smallest multiple of six greater than 115? All right, that one might take a little bit of paper for you. So use that mental math, use that scratch paper, figure that one out. And in our bad joke and pun of the day, 
Are monsters good at math? Not unless you count Dracula. Hmm. It's timely. It's October. It's that time of year, but it's still a, a bad joke. And we'll move on. All right. And on this day in history, October 13th, the White House cornerstone was laid. That's kind of the, the picturesque piece, what the White House looks like, that main portion of the White House. Looks like we have some birthdays today. We want to say happy birthday to Elizabeth Dyer. Happy birthday to Shia Huff. Happy birthday to Maria LaFrance. And happy birthday to Bradley Mazur. Happy birthday from us to you. Let's take a look at the weather for this week. Ooh, man. We got 70, 70s, 80s, and 50s. Tonight, we got, or today, we got 76 with a low of 46. Wednesday, we've got 80 with a low of 49. And Thursday, there's some traditional fall weather for you. 58 with a low of 35. I see sunny skies, and we don't see any rain in the forecast. So that's nice. Okay, let's take a look here. That weather and agriculture, that term, that thing that we use is an almanac. That was the splashable question of the day. And the math brain teaser, I have to go back and figure that one out. That math brain teaser was 120. All right, and as we prepare for a productive day, let us observe a moment of silence. Now let us rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's see here. All right, teachers, we will have some time for students to complete the My Saber survey. Students will need to type in your password that was sent via, pardon me, username that was sent via email. And the password for that, as a reminder, is happy. Oh, what do we have here? Lots of things going on. Oh, I like this. I like the owls on a piece of PVC. We've got the falcon flying above. We got a little bee. Looks like he's collected some honey. We've got a crow protecting some a cornucopia of fruits and vegetables and pumpkins. But yeah, I think what seals the scene here are five owls on a piece of PVC. Love it. Love it. Franklin Middle School staff and students, we want you to have a great day to rem today. And remember, it's all about choices. Read, write, and respond at Franklin Middle School. It's our focus.